What's up, YouTube? So, you want to be happy. That'll be the name of my next one of these. I'm going to do multiple of these. Um, I I don't know if you know about philosophy any, or if you've ever been to... Look at my dog back there. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you know about philosophy any, or if you have ever been to a therapist. Most therapy is seated in philosophy. Most therapists who are trying to help you, who are trying to help you uh, improve your mental state and improve your your productivity in your life and help you be a better you and help you to hear my dog drinking water in the background. Deco water theaters? Deco water? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, most therapists who help people do it with therapy. Uh, do it with therapy. Yes, yes. Most therapists who help people do it with uh, do it with philosophy. And philosophy comes with comes from like ugh, there's a lot of people actually. I don't know. There was like Plato, Socrates, you know, and all those dudes taught each other basically, and it just kept going down. They kept like evolving it and stretching it. But the one that I'm the most currently embedded with is Arthur Schopenhauer, who wrote The Wisdom of Life, and I suggest giving that a read. I will definitely, definitely, definitely put a link in the description to an audiobook that's like 30 minutes long, and I'll let you digest that however you'd like. But more or less, I'm not trying to talk about regular philosophy today. I am trying to talk about what I am what I am discerning as modern philosophy. And what that is is just more of like a different take on philosophy where as philosophy was created hundreds of years ago, it was meant to be a very broad, very open spectrum that covered a lot of basic human basic human attributes. I feel like though that is very important and and basically where I'm going to be basing most of my my theory off of uh, it, it is it is pretty important for the whole thing in general honestly but it it doesn't cover all the bases especially considering new age technology such as the internet which which acts as I'll, I'll get in that I'll get into that so to start with uh, modern philosophy. I, 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 that's what I'm calling this. I'm a big fan of this. You don't want to be happy. You, nobody really wants to be happy. And I'm supposed to prove that, right? That's what, that's what the video is? That's what we're doing here? Oh, dang it. This isn't going to be easy. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I already got this. Got it all planned. Most people, most people, instead of being happy, would rather be comfortable. And, um... I want you to I want you to take this with a grain of salt. There's there's a phrase that says that all things are all things are liable li all things are to be held liable to an exception or a complete exception. Basically meaning basically meaning that no matter what, there's always going to be something that tells you that what you're saying is not true, <laughs> more or less, right? But in 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 most situations. Uh, people would rather be comfortable than happy. And uh, let's get into that a little bit. What what is what is com comfort like to you? What it, what what would you say comfort is? Wearing a nice pair of uh, uh, pajamas, maybe sitting down watching your favorite TV show, eating ice cream. That sounds sounds pretty comfortable. Maybe light some candles. Maybe do that tonight, right now. Most people would rather be comfortable. And what I think comfort is, is basically like the opposite of boredom, right? Like, boredom is is basically the ultimate evil that we experience in life. It is inevitable. It's it's Thanos. It's Thanos. We, we will feel boredom eventually in our life. We have to. And we try to avoid, but avoid feeling boredom by... By filling our boredom with with all kinds of things like video games or or TV or or ice cream, like you know, we'll, we'll literally eat even after we're full, or we'll spend like six hours, like literally just straight playing video games to to literally just cut out any amount of time that we could consider boring, and and we do that because we want to be comfortable, but 
comfort and happiness aren't the same emotion. Happiness is the emotion that you feel whenever you feel you you feel joy whenever you're you're <laughs> then wow happy I'm explaining happiness on the internet this is this is good more or less happiness is is what you get from self fulfillment you you don't want to feel fulfilled by other things the the constant need to go out and and get something else the constant want that humans have is ultimately insatiable because every time we want something we go out and get it and once we get it we want something else and it's a never-ending cycle we will always want something else because we will never be satisfied because there will always be boredom boredom is ultimately inevitable so instead of being comfortable we should just be happy how do you be happy <laughs> that sounds pretty difficult right cuz when when there's boredom you have plenty of time to think about things that you don't want to think about like maybe the past or something that's happening in your life right now or even the things that's going on in the world the world's pretty depressing this is a really depressing world we live in so we have to combat not only boredom but other emotions that aren't happiness as well and how how we're supposed to do that is by and this this is the this is my favorite part of of uh philosophy period is that it kind of gives you the blueprints for how to be happy and ultimately what you're supposed to do is just do it you just be happy don't just don't leave room for boredom don't leave room for sadness just be happy and it sounds crazy but th here's a little bit of science for you that I think is really cool whenever we get upset with something or whenever we're we're mad about something we might like say a swear word or like punch something or just get mad and get real mad but whenever you get mad in, in response to something it releases dopamine in your brain that makes you feel good you feel great in that given moment but after that then the dopamine slowly fades away and then something else might happen and then you get mad again but but you'll get less dopamine this time. You don't get as much dopamine as you as you did the first time whenever you responded with anger by punching something. And then it keeps decreasing to the point where eventually you're not receiving dopamine. You are not gaining happiness or any kind of good emotion out of being angry. It's just anger. And eventually that's all there's the there is that's left. And that's that's ultimately how people end up being angry all the time. I'm sure you've met someone, you work with someone who's just always mad. Th those people are are just living the worst lives and they're doing it to themselves because we all do it to ourselves. And I'm not calling anyone out here, but the fact of the matter is is that this is how humans exist. This is what we do. So if you're mad all the time, what's what's the what's the option for you, right? Just be happy. Just choose happiness instead. Whenever you smile or whenever you laugh, it releases a chemical in your brain a lot like whenever you're mad, like dopamine, that makes you happy. But the crazy thing is, is that the more you do it, the more you smile, the more you laugh, and the more you be happy in response to a situation, the easier it gets. Your brain is literally designed to make it easier for you to be happy. You, you just have to be happy all the time. It, it's like... I'd compare it to like growing a beard or like trying to become a YouTuber, or, you know, literally basically anything in life. Learning guitar, uh, uh, singing, my dog walking in the background. Ruben. Hey. <laughs> Such a regal boy. Oh, look. Oh, look at these poopers. Oh, she's giving him kisses. Hey, Taters, quit being weird. Don't sniff him there. Be happy. Don't worry, be happy. All, lit all literally you have to do is just be happy. And I know sometimes that feels really difficult. Because in, in situations that we're put in, it can just be stressful or maybe anxiety inducing. Or maybe it, it, it can just make you mad. You could have someone in your life, maybe like, like I said, those people who are always mad you could be around someone like that most emotions are very infectious if you're around someone who's mad all the time you're more likely to be mad whereas if you're around someone who's happy all the time you're more likely to be happy but you're not supposed to try and hang out with people that's a completely different thing though that's fresh impression <laughs> i'll save that for a different video
Uh, I'll write that down. Hold on. Don't go around other people. I'm not telling you to do that. You can hang out with whoever you want. Live your own life, okay? But just try to be happy. People have this unique ability, and it's gonna sound crazy, or I might sound like a sociopath or something. I don't know. I don't know. It works for me. I've done a lot of research into stoicism and different parts of philosophy, and it's taught me this, and this is what I believe, and it's helped me to become a happier person, ultimately. But you can ultimately, I've said ultimately like six times now, haven't I? You can ultimately control your emotions. Like, you can choose to be mad. If I wanted to right now, I could think about some something really depressing. I could I could actively choose to look at something depressing like maybe on the news or on the internet or or on on if anywhere. I could go outside and go look at some hobos. I could watch my dogs fighting in the background and I could just really decide to be sad. I could be sad, and then that would be the emotion I'd be choosing. But instead, what what we're supposed to do is choose to be happy. Alright, so I know that choosing to be happy sounds difficult, and I know that it's a lot, and I'm not going to expect anyone to be able to do what I'm telling them to do, or anything, like, within a day, but if you start practicing with just smiling, if you just smile whenever you're in in your car alone uh, you know not around anybody else that way nobody else has to see your weird smile if you don't like the way that your smile looks you know just smile by yourself in the comfort of your own house walk around your house with a smile on your face even if you're not feeling the best because that right there is already going to make it a little bit easier for you to do it in the future and it's already going to release some measure of dopamine in your in your brain that's going to make you feel a little bit better the 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 technique that i use the technique that i was taught by arthur schopenhauer and that that link in the description that i told you guys about is uh the the technique is that um basically whenever you're sad it's there to remind you that whenever you're happy, we're all human. Everyone gets sad. Everyone everyone experiences this emotion, so be humble. You know, don't don't be an egotistical prick with a huge head. It doesn't help anybody else. Nobody else is going to help be helped by it. And ultimately, being rude and making other people feel bad isn't going to make you feel good. On the surface, people might act like it does. That's where bullying stems from. But it won't make you feel like a better person. So, I forgot what I was talking about. Whatever I said, that thing. <laughs> uh, just remember... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever you're sad, whenever you're sad, it reminds you to be modest. Whenever you're happy, it reminds you how you're supposed to act when you're sad or angry. So, like, if you're, if you're sad... Just think about puppies. Think about this dog. Think about this dog right here. Taters. Hey. Think about that hoe. I call my dog a hoe sometimes, but she she likes it. Hey ho. Hey ho. Teeter ho. Teeter ho. You're shaking your little tail. Yeah, the technique. <laughs> Chop hand. The technique is to choose to be happy. Think about how you act whenever you're happy. Think about the way that you talk with your friends when you're happy. Even sometimes if it's it's a bit of a fake face. Think about think about those times whenever you are happy. And then do that instead. And over time it will suck because you know, you're not great at it. People people make a habit of trying to be perfect at things that they're completely new at like you're not going to be a professional at anything once you start it you're you're, you're going to be a starter and you're going to have to practice over time so practice practice being happy you know alone by yourself don't worry about what the what the world's thinking and if you if you can start to get that down packed if that starts to work for you then maybe start trying to implement it into the real world you know bring your happiness to other people once once you're capable of filling your own cup only then can you start trying to fill other people's cup that's that's i think chi that's a chinese proverb or something like that but i don't know i don't know nothing does this look like the face of a guy who knows what he's talking about i'm just a kid you know <laughs>
I'm just a kid. That's one of my rapper names, by the way. They call me the kid. They call me the kid. Y'all seen my subscriber board? Hold on. Special offer. Special offer, limited time only. Limited time special offer. Hold on. Limited time offer, now only. I'm very fuzzy. Can you see me? Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Limited time offer, right now. If you subscribe, I will put your name. That's a lie. <laughs> If you subscribe right now, you can get a sticker on the sticker board. You can be a part of Turtle Gang. Do you see these turtles? Do you see these turtles? Look at them. Look at all these stickers. And these are turtles. You can be Turtle Gang. We're going to save the turtles. But I can't save the turtles unless you subscribe. Subscribe to save turtles. Sorry, I went off on a bit of a tangent there. I can't help myself sometimes. I like turtles. Anyways, if you like this video, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. YouTube, YouTube algorithm. Algorithm, YouTube, YouTube. Um, free giveaway, free giveaways. Giveaways, uh, stickers, free, 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 free. All kinds of free, all kinds of giveaways. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to I'm trying to make the YouTube algorithm see this video so that way that way you guys can actually see the beautiful message I'm trying to give you guys. Just be happy. You deserve it. Everyone deserves happiness except for like drug murderers and stuff. Those guys suck. So like, comment and subscribe on YouTube. You could too. Later.